Remember the 70s? I don't. But here's an A to Z of 70s sitcoms that you've probably forgotten about. Alcock and Gander. This sitcom aired in 1972 on ITV for just the one series. It starred Beryl Reed, who I haven't thought about for donkey's years, and Richard O'Sullivan. The series has Marigold Alcock inheriting her husband's business, the headquarters of which happen to be above a strip club in Soho. Richard Gander is Alcock's business partner. Little less noise. I'm busy. I beg your pardon? <laughs> Mr Gander, where is the marriage bureau file? Ah, uh, yes, I put it under your leg. Uh, the, the wobbly one on your desk. Oh, you're far too decent. Thank you. For B, we have Bloomers, which was a sitcom that starred Richard Beckinsale that was on BBC Two in 1979. Richard, of course, died very suddenly from a heart attack just before a rehearsal for the sixth and final episode of the show. Good morning, Ronnie, me old mate. Uh, Stan, Partridge, one of your clients, remember? Second most promising new actor in 1966. <laughs> yeah, I'll just go in and see what you got for me this morning. And for C, we have Chalk and Cheese. This is one I've never heard of, to be honest with you. It starred Michael Crawford and Robin Horden. This Thames television show came after the Some Mothers Do Have Them. But of course, Crawford's character is extremely different in this one. Audiences were not very keen and it was cancelled after the first series. He must endure through... The first always the worst. For the woman, you mean? No, no, not for them, for us. <laughs> you want a sandwich? <laughs> uh, I've got some apples here. Apples any good uh, to you? No, really, really. Hey, Mum! What? The door spin men! D is for the Dustbin Men, a Granada television production starring Trevor Bannister, Brian Pringle, Graham Haberfield and Tim Wilton. There are some right character names in this one. Cheese and Egg and Heavy Breathing, two of them, and they used to call the bin wagon Thunderbird 3. John Barrett starred in this one and his character was Smelly Ibbotson. Barrett, of course, is also well known for playing Nellie Pledge's father. Weekend. One. Is that all it was? E. E was a difficult one, and I don't actually have a clip for this either. I couldn't find a sitcom beginning with E, so I've had to have a character instead. So we're going to talk about Eddie from the sitcom Mr. Big. The plot of this one involved Mr. Big's gang of small time crooks squatting in a decrepit old mansion and uh, planning a £250,000 bank robbery. F is for The Fosters, and a pairing of Norman Beaton and Carmen Munro that came way before Desmond's. Lenny Henry is in this one as well, and it's his first regular TV series. This one was a London weekend television production, and it ran from 1976 until 1977. <laughs> For your information, Sneaky, I, your talented brother, the artiste, have been commissioned to paint a portrait of a certain Mrs. Marlene Davis. G is Get Some In, a sitcom about life in the Royal Air Force under the National Service. This one went from 1975 to 1978 and was a Thames television production. It starred Tony Selby, David Jansen, Robert Lindsay and Carl Howman, amongst others. It was never repeated on broadcast television, probably due to the non-PC humour. My new say. intake arrived today, that's what. <laughs> Little Mamby Pamby darlings just off their bodies. <laughs> If they knew you was waiting for them, they'd chuck themselves in and drown. H is for Happy Ever After. Take two actors, one called Terry and one called June, and put them in a sitcom in which they play characters called 
Terry and June. Happy Ever After came before Terry and June and, of course, starred Terry Scott and June Whitfield. It ran from 1974 until 1979. Called out for something. I might have left the top in her room. No, sir. She in bed yet? Well, she's probably fast asleep by now. Can't you do without it just for mm-hmm. tonight? No, I don't mind going without the bottoms down again, but I... I feel rather rather naked without the chop. I is for I didn't know you cared. I heard that. Pardon? I love the theme tune on this one, I have to tell you. This one starred Robin Bailey, John Comer, Liz Smith, who I know better probably from uh, The Vicar of Dibley, or The Royal Family, and uh, Stephen Rea, amongst others. It ran from 1975 until 1979. I heard that. He's a bloody disgrace. He's just a breeding ground for Motsim. That'll keep the wood worm at bay. Someday soon, I'll find who I'm. Jay. Jay was a tough one because I couldn't really find a sitcom that began with the letter J. So instead, let's look at people who were in sitcoms. This is Julia McKenzie, and this sitcom is Maggie and Her, with uh, co-star Irene Handel. This one ran from 1978 until 1979. I like France. I don't get many francs to the pound. Why not? Because I'll never go to France. (laughs) (coughs) The Riviera's a bit commercial, but if we go in, then... Boy, nobody needs a holiday like I do. K. K is for Kindly Leave the Curb. And again, it's one I haven't been able to find a clip of, I'm afraid. But that just means it's all the more forgotten, doesn't it, I suppose? It's a 1971 series, which was on ITV, and it starred Peter Butterworth, Peter Jones and Meredith Edwards. Now, when I first saw this one, I thought, that's got to be about a driving instructor, right? Kindly Leave the Curb. But no. Apparently, it is uh, Ernest Tanner, which is Peter Butterworth's character, who is an escapologist who's busking on the streets of London to earn a living. L is for Lollipop Loves Mr Mole, and this is another one where I just have not been able to find a clip for you. It stars Peggy Mount, the woman whose voice enters a room before she does, Hugh Lloyd, Pat Coombs, lovely Pat Coombs, and Rex Garner. This one ran from 1971 to 1972 and was actually produced by ATV Midlands. M is for My Wife Next Door. This one's a 1972 series and it ran on the BBC. It stars John Alderton, who, ever since I've googled him, is now haunting my search results, and Hannah Gordon. The pair are divorced, they each go and move off to the country somewhere, they buy a house, only to find out that they've bought houses right next door to each other. N is for No Honestly, a sitcom that was on ITV from 1974 to 1975. And look who's in it, John Alderton. I told you, he's haunting me now. It's also starred John's real-life second wife, Pauline Collins. There was actually a sequel to this one called Yes Honestly, which came out in 1976. Uh, Claire, I say good evening and sit down. Good evening. And remind me to tell you something. Yeah, sit down, Claire. Before we go any further, perhaps we ought to introduce ourselves. I'm Charles Danby, and this is Clara. Yes. O is for Odd Man Out. I love these old 70s theme tunes. Just listen to this one. It's brilliant. This one stars John Inman as Neville Sutcliffe, and he owns a chippy in Blackpool. It's called a chip off the old block. Anyway, he inherits his dad's rock factory down in Littlehampton. And that's the premise of the unfolding story. Somewhere a place for us. There we are, now. 
Fish, chips and mushy peas. The best you'll get in Blackpool. Oh, ta, Neville. Thank you. Cheers. Take care. <laughs> P is for the Prince of Denmark, and yes, it is another one that I haven't been able to find a clip for, but I'm banking on that, making it all the less memorable. This is a BBC show, and it's from 1974, and it was actually made as a sequel to a series called Now Look Here. It starred Ronnie Corbett and Rosemary Leach, and from what I can gather, the tale is all about the ups and downs of being landlords at the Prince of Denmark. Ronnie Corbett takes his role in the pub quite seriously and sees himself as something of a cross between an ombudsman and father confessor. His advice sounds plausible, but the trouble starts when one of his customers actually takes it. Q is for Queenie's Castle, and frankly it was the only Q I could find, so probably one that's not as forgotten as some of the others on this list. This one stars Diana Dawes, of course, as Queenie Shepherd, And also starred Freddie Fletcher, Brian Marshall, Barry Rutter, Tony Conter, Lynn Perry and Brian Mosley. It's seven o'clock in the morning, ma'am. We've been looking at the moon landing all night. It's a very historic moment, is this, you know? You're right, it is an historic moment. You lot up before the milkman. R is for rings on their fingers. The plot essentially revolved around Sandy Bennett, who was Diane Keane's character, and Oliver Pride, Martin Jarvis's character. Sandy really wants to get married. Oliver isn't so bothered. But by the end of the first series, they've got hitched. I thought to myself, it's just you and me tonight. Oh, marvellous. So I nipped next door to the butcher's, bought the lamb, and there it is cooking in the oven. Yeah, I'm glad it's not the lavatory, bro. <laughs> S is for Sir Yellow. And again, another one that I've never heard of, and I haven't been able to get you a clip, but let's see if you remember it, shall we? It aired from July to August in 1973, and it was on ITV. Jimmy Edwards starred in this one, along with Melvin Hayes, Alan Curtis and Michael Ripper. It was set in the 13th century, and apparently this womanising, coward, alcoholic knight was the central character. It got axed after some pretty bad reviews after just one series. Uh T is for two in clover. This is another brilliant little theme tune. Just listen to this. This one went from 1969 till 1970, and it was a Thames television production. Shades of the good life before the good life in this one, because it's about two city workers who abandon the rat race to run a small farm out in the country somewhere. I'm your neighbour. Oh, pleased to meet you. Well, let's not stand on ceremony. Uh, look, my name's Victor. Can I call you uh, Bromley? Well, my Christian name is Gerald. I'm hyphenated. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. U is for Up Pompeii, and yes, I know, everybody probably does remember that one, but you'll find me another sitcom that began with a U. Go on. Initially, it was broadcast between 1969 and 1970. It starred, of course, Frankie Howard, who played the slave Lurkio. Love me. Oi, oi, oi! No, Mrs. 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 You've got the wrong one, dear. I should be getting all that. Oh, my darling, let us go without. V is for The Vital Spark. This one's a BBC Scotland series. It's actually set in the 1930s. I believe there were three series altogether, one in 1966, one in 67, and then another in 74. It starred Roddy McMillan, John Grieve, Walter Carr and Alex McAvoy. Man, what whiskey! Oh, it's running circles round my tonsils. Now it's killing its way down my throat. Where is it now? It's just arrived. <laughs> W is for Whoops Baghdad, and Frankie Howard is back again with another romp, as they call them, don't they? 
This one ran in 1973 and again it was on the BBC. Also starred Derek Francis, Hilary Pritchard, Anna Brett and Larry Martin. They basically moved the setting from ancient Rome to medieval Baghdad for this one. Now, this is my master. This is my master, the wazir. He's the Prime Minister of Baghdad, Abu Ben Akkad. <laughs> the wazir, that's what they call the Prime Minister here, you see. Wazir. Look, I'm not doing that old gag. I'm going straight. I am straight as an arrow. Okay, we're getting into the difficult letters now, aren't we? So, X. There's no sitcom with a letter X at the beginning from the 70s, so instead I've taken some artistic licence and we're looking at an X convict Ronnie Barker's Fletcher in fact in Going Straight which was of course the sequel to Porridge Look what is this flaming surveillance <laughs> Y is for You're Only Young Twice, and it's Peggy Mount and Pat Coombs again together in a show that actually ran from 1977 to 1981 on ITV. It also starred Lally Bowers, Diana King, Charmaine May, Georgina Moon and Johnny Wade. And this was set in the Paradise Lodge Retirement Home. I've just been helping Roger shift your mattress here. Can <laughs> answer your question? Where has he put it? It's hanging out of the window. Looks ever so continental. <laughs> and Z. Z's another toughie, isn't it? So let's say Z stands for zero gravity, which takes us to space, where Mrs. Noah is probably still circling the Earth somewhere. Comeback Mrs. Noah ran from 1977 to 1978 and starred Molly Sugden, Ian Lavender, Donald Hewlett, Michael Knowles and Gordon Kay. <laughs> After you, Mrs. Noah. <laughs> oh, to think you're doing all this for me just because I'm in the best Bakewell town. <laughs> and there you have it my A to Z of 70s sitcoms that you've probably forgot about. If you enjoyed that, please subscribe to the channel because there's lots more to come and lots more that I've already done if you want to have a look at those. There's an 80s sitcoms video and a 90s sitcoms video. Knock yourself out and have a go at them. But that's it for now. Thank you ever so much for watching and I'll see you next time. <laughs>